everybody, Carolyn here. I am here about to make a soup, and honestly, soup is one of my favorite things to make, uh, and I wanted to show you the process that I have when I make soup, uh, and some of the tricks that I use to uh, whip something up really fast, especially when lunch is just around the corner. Um, now, today is like clean out my fridge leftover day, which is awesome when you're making a soup. So I'm gonna bring you in over here and you can take a look at what I'm eating. So first of all, last night I steamed a chicken in my steamer in 18 minutes. Oh, I love that, I love that so much. So at a cooking class, I steamed my chicken and uh, I just stuck it in the fridge uh, and then, you know, deboned it and everything. There's all my chicken, which is awesome. And, um, but what I have in the steamer today, actually it's still pretty hot, uh, is just my veggies. So just to speed up that process, I've chopped up my celery, carrots, onions, all that, and I added some chicken, no, sorry, it wasn't chicken broth because I'm out of chicken broth. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Uh, but I added the miso, which I don't think we carry right now. Um, some miso seasonings or whatever seasonings you like in a soup, you can add it right there. And I'm gonna add it right to my pot here, my beautiful uh, wok. I'm gonna add it all into there. You don't need to do this process. If you have the extra time, you can just saute your vegetables right in here. That's great. But I like that extra step to make sure that my carrots and celery are really cooked. And then, so last night I made um, riced cauliflower. And usually in my riced cauliflower, I'll add like a packet of mac and cheese and make it a cheesy riced cauliflower, which is delicious. But I didn't have any mac and cheese. So I added the ooey gooey queso to it instead and not a whole package because I only had half a head and now I'm just going to eat it um, in my soup. I'm going to throw that in my soup uh, and I love the idea of this spicy Mexican flavor uh, which is what this is going to become. So it's going to become like a chicken tortilla uh, Mexican flavor and I love cauliflower. Rice cauliflower is so simple um, and you can create that really fast. Uh, soup in there and I think it's going to give it so much flavor with having that ooey gooey in there already. All right, so that's part of my leftovers. I'm going to add, of course, my chicken. Man, this is going to be a full pot of a super hearty soup and uh, we're going to have leftovers for a little while, so I'm excited about that. I also have um, a little bit of spaghetti sauce left and like really not enough to really feed anybody. I'm going to add that in there. I know that's weird but that's gonna give me a nice tortilla, you know, the, the tomato base of my tortilla soup as well. I'm also gonna add a little bit of tomato um, in there. Um, and then when I'm all done, I'm gonna add my corn to that uh, when it's almost ready to go. And then I've got some bone broth that I made that I just keep in the freezer um, when I need a good broth. So I'm just gonna add that right in there. And this has a ton of beautiful flavor already. So then I'm gonna let it simmer and I'm gonna, like I said, I am gonna add a little bit more tomato um, to give it that beautiful tortilla soup color. Uh, typically, I would also add, if I need that extra frit flavor, I would add the tortilla soup mix, which is a delightful flavor, but I have so much going on in here right now, I don't even need that. Um, so I'm just gonna stir it up and give it a taste and, uh, and then adjust the flavors from there. So um, if I need a little bit of salt, I usually will go for something like a Bragg soy sauce just to add a little bit of um, that, to elevate those flavors a little bit. And, that, and that's it, this is so simple and absolutely easy. Take your leftovers and throw them in your pot. Add a, a nice broth to there and uh, you've got yourself a hearty, delicious soup.